Jeff is back with us to talk about our weather, and uh, we've already talked about that fire danger as well across the state. Yes, and uh, the wind uh, is coming down here across Northern California. We got a lot happening on the maps here as we get closer to that weekend. We're tracking Tropical Storm Francine, which I'll get you the latest on here in just a little bit. But we also have this area of low pressure that brought some rainfall to the Pacific Northwest and some of that wind for the Bay Area. It continues to pull off to the north away from us tomorrow, and we have hot high pressure to the south. So we're just stuck in between, and I think over Overall, it's going to leave us with a nice day tomorrow and we'll start it off with some morning fog. Let me get you details on that plus a colder storm in my seven day forecast and here it is tomorrow morning. On our Thursday, we begin with some fog near the bay, also the coast, and a decent chance of some of those low clouds down here for the South Bay, not as much for the North Bay. And then we see most of this clear back by 10 o'clock in the morning, except at the beaches, and we'll stay with that typical fog uh, near our beaches through the afternoon. So morning temperatures back down where they've been the past couple of days. It'll begin on the cool side here. Uh, 58 down here for the South Bay, Tri-Valley 55, San Francisco heading there for work, 54, Chile 53 in the North Bay and East Bay at 57 temperatures through tomorrow afternoon going to be on the warm side, but overall right near average, mostly sunny. I think it's going to be a nice September day for us. 85 in Napa, 86 in Concord, 82 in San Jose, upper 70s in Palo Alto and 60s right here at the coastline. While we're doing good here, if you're traveling, we do have tropical storm Francine that is still uh, moving around and some of the storm reports are coming in and it's looking like some pretty serious damage right now. Winds on the latest update at 50 miles per hour. This will continue off to the north of New Orleans by tomorrow morning. 45 mile per hour winds. No doubt Louisiana the hardest hit here with those winds up to 90 they had today. Rain could be up to about 10 inches and storm surge may have hit about 10 feet. So as daylight gets here, we'll see that storm surge damage at the coast and of course we'll bring you more pictures. Back here in the Bay Area as we head into Sunday and Monday, I wanted to get you the latest on this colder storm I'm tracking right now. It certainly looks like it's it's going to be dropping temperatures 60s to low 70s inland coolest stretch in 104 days and maybe just maybe some northern California rain chances right now for us it's low but a 20% chance on Sunday I have it to a 30% chance on Monday and we have 60s in San Francisco look at this 76 Sunday 73 on Monday. I mean, go for it on Sunday. That pumpkin spice latte. Get, <laughs> get geared up for next week. That sounds really good. It's, it's almost fall. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs>